This moon guy is going to be a problem. I don't know what his name is, who he plays for, or even if he has his own YouTube channel. But I've watched a couple of his 1v1s on the next chapter, and he might be the most underrated basketball player on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to go through the strengths and weaknesses of his game. So hopefully you don't end up like these guys if you have to guard them. Go take the bag right now. Chat, they are so shifty. Oh my god. Oh, oh he just got it. So when you look at his player build, he kind of has that Tony Snell player build, so you don't really think he has a handle. But then when you watch him play, it's kind of crazy. Here we have a couple clips of him playing Friga Fam. He just hits them with snatchbacks going right. I mean, he hits Nathan so bad, he gets snatched back to Columbia. Oh my god. That's not, that's how he started? Here he does the same move, but he's going left, so he shows he has some versatility, and honestly my knees hurt just watching this, it's hard to stop on a dime like that. And even if you are able to recover off the step back, he's able to drive against it as well, so it's really hard to guard this move. He also has a really nice crossover, he gets low to the ground and it's very wide, so unless you're prepared for it, I mean, you're probably gonna get crossed up. And I love Trevor Dunbar, but he literally has no shot. So now you already got crossed up twice, so you're waiting for the next cross, and boom, he just blows by you and ducks. I mean, what are you supposed to do? I think once he gets going like this, you gotta make him shoot a jumper. I mean, you can't let him just get downhill to the rim. His favorite dribbling move actually might be the T-Mac, and I don't see that many players do this anymore, so for him to do this in live one-on-one -on -one games for money is pretty impressive. Moon's second biggest strength is probably his mid-range game. He's really comfortable working in the low post as he does here against Nathan and he uses his height to get a fadeaway going left. And against Cam, he starts at the three point line and he's able to get to a spot, he backs him down and he can fade away going right as well so he can fade both ways. Here the defender does really everything you're supposed to do, he stays down, he makes him take a tough shot and it's too bad. You should probably just go home if he hits that type of shot against you, but here, even outside of the mid post, he shows great footwork. And again, these are difficult shots, but Moon's very comfortable working in the mid-range area, so it's really tough to guard. While Moon's obviously a great offensive player, the thing I think that separates him from most of these YouTube basketball players is his defense. He really uses his wingspan well, and he's able to get deflections and blocks against even taller players. Here, I mean, he just rips the ball from Aaron Holiday, dude, and this guy was just getting killed all game. He was getting blocked on a, on a mid-range step-back shot. I mean, that's tough. And here against Nathan, even though he makes a shot, I mean, he plays really good defense. He doesn't go for the fakes, and he makes him take a contested fadeaway. This time, he uses his height advantage and his wingspan to get the block, and getting a block on a jump shot is, is pretty impressive again. But this is my favorite two clips right here. Shades of Tayshawn Prince in the Eastern Conference Finals has a chase down block badge unlocked. So if you have a wide open layup, you better think again when you're playing against Moon. And even in a one-on-one -on -one setting, he's pretty scary. I mean, his arms are very long. He just rips this guy at like half court. So elite defender. Overall, I'm not sure why I keep watching videos where guys are betting Moon $1,000 so they can beat him one-on-one. -on -one. If they would have watched my video, they would know. Moon is elite. He's a level 2 YouTube hooper just below Devontae Friga. If he shows a jumper at 3 point shot consistently, he'd even be a tier 1 hooper. So if you're thinking about playing Moon one on one, I would think again. Well there you have it. Please like the video if you enjoyed and let me know in the comments below who you'd like me to scout next. Oh, Yeah. Oh
Two four, two four.